Less than two months ago, to be precise, 30th of May, ECOWAS leaders met here in Accra at an extraordinary summit to review the security situation in the sub-region, specifically Northern Mali and Nigeria. But today, the agenda is different. Yet, the issue of peace and security reverberated. The 45th session being hosted here in Accra and other issues is expected to take far-reaching decisions on issues affecting member states like the introduction of biometric ID cards to improve on free movement of goods and people within the sub-region, adopt the 2014 report of the President ECOWAS Commission and get updated on Ebola epidemic in some parts of the region. The chairman of ECOWAS, John Dramani Mahama, in his opening remarks, highlighted significant progress made by ECOWAS member states in areas like single currency and common external tariff expected to come to force on 1st January 2015. I wish to call on all member states, particularly border officials, to take all the legal and necessary steps to remove all challenges or bottlenecks to trade and commercial activity within our region. As leaders look forward to improving intra-trade relations within the sub-region, ECOWAS Commission, African Union and the Secretary General United Nations was represented, underscored the dire need for peace and security in the sub-region and Africa as a continent, reaffirming support for all ongoing efforts to address organized crime terrorism and proliferation of arms and light weapons in some parts of the African countries, including Nigeria. We also welcome the support that countries and organizations are deploying in support of the efforts of Nigeria and the Lake Chad Basin countries in the context of the Paris and London meetings. The United Nations has adopted an integrated support package to complement Nigeria's efforts since we are all convinced that only a multi-dimensional approach can bring lasting solution to the crisis. On behalf of all the ECOWAS institutions, I reiterate the firm determination shared by us all to reconcile the drive towards the realization of your high ambitions for our community with an effective and rigorous management of our means and our resources. The authority of ECOWAS heads of state and government also acknowledged the presence of Jose Mario Vaz of Guinea-Bissau, newly elected, who is attending the summit as head of state for the first time ever. Meanwhile, the summit is expected to announce the next date and the venue of the next ordinary session of ECOWAS. In Accra, Ghana, Shagulawali, NT News.